And a World War II veteran is fighting a new battle right in his hometown for decades. Frank Whitney has owned a store in a New York resort town. But now local officials are doing the unthinkable. They're trying to seize it. Griff Jenkins reports from Fire Island. Right after Hurricane Sandy, um, this store uh, began its repairs, but it was the repairs were stopped by the village. Scott Whitney is the son of World War II veteran Frank Whitney, who is fighting to keep his market grocery in the village of Salt Air. We've been in this position for 14 months, back and forth with the village. They're making demands on us in regard to what we have to do in order to repair, and and our contention that they're holding us to a completely different standard than everyone else in the village and every, every other store on Fire Island. We're suspicious that what's really going on is that they want they want this property. They consider it a very critical pr uh, property to be owned by the village. Uh, the village actually owns the majority of the property in the downtown. This this is a privately owned property. It's the only building in the entire village that was stopped from repairing. Imminent domain is the power through which governments can legally seize private property for public use. And Salt Air's mayor, Robert Cox, says it's justified in this case. This building was damaged by the storm. The floodwaters came through this village. We had four feet of salt water throughout the center of our village. The best option for us has always been that this get repaired by the Whitney's in a compliant manner. We have reached out to them. We have asked them to come in and talk to us. We've offered to bring in independent code inspectors who have already reviewed this for us to confirm that everything we're asking for is legitimate and required and then work with them to put a plan together. Unfortunately, that process has not happened. We have not gotten an application and it hasn't met those requirements. But it's putting a lot of pressure on the World War II bombardier and his family who have operated the market for over 25 years. I just think that in this case, this particular government, small as it is, overstepped its mandate. They could have either given us the permit and let us go to work or paid us a reasonable sum to be finished with it. But what they tried to do was have it both ways. They tried to denigrate the property to make it less valuable. That's, that's something government shouldn't do. For one of Frank's sons, it puts his livelihood at stake. Chip, you run the grocery here. Uh, how, do, how has this impacted you? Well, I'm 57 years old and I can't find work. It's, it's hard, it's very hard. I've been doing this for 26 years. It, it hurts that the village hasn't worked more with me to get the store back up and running and, and do the right thing. That's the thing that hurts the most. The village maintains that they are simply trying to get the Whitney's to meet a certain set of requirements and codes to get things back on track. The perception is that you as the mayor and the village is trying to take this property. Why eminent domain? Why are we here? Because that was a last resort that the village felt it had to go to in order to get a market a property back up and running in a safe and a compliant manner. It's not our desired outcome, but as opposed to leaving it vacant and a dangerous and a derelict condition, it was the only opportunity that was available to us as a last resort. The market's fate lies in an appellate court in Brooklyn that will soon determine whether the village's reasoning for eminent domain has been met. If they rule in Salt Air's favor, the Whitney's will lose the market and be given a court-determined fair market value sum for it. I don't think that that's the way that uh, uh, that a small village should treat my father, who's an 88-year-old, uh, you know, World War II veteran who's been working on Fire Island for 45 years and serving these communities. I don't want to reflect badly on that little village. It's a wonderful little village. Regardless of the outcome, it's already taking a toll on one of America's greatest treasures. It's been a difficult time. Like I say, I wish I wish it was over.